Hello, everybody out there. So for today's video, uh, apparently I wanted to keep on doing hot button topics or like controversial things to talk about. It's another one for relationships though. Uh, basically just talking about overall attraction and like fitness and sexual attraction within already pre-established relationships. And <laughs> like how to maneuver how to maneuver these conversations when you're either married or in like a committed relationship and kind of more of what I'll be talking about here in a minute. But before we hop into the actual video, if you guys aren't aware, uh, I'm, I gotta start the fuck over. Hello, everybody out there. So for today's video, apparently I'm just in the mood for hot button topics or hot button conversations. This is another one about relationships, basically talking about uh, physical attraction, sexual attraction, um, fitness ish within pre-established relationships such as marriages or committed relationships and kind of how to navigate these conversations and issues and if you really want to know what i'm talking about stay tuned <laughs> before we hop into the actual video though this is the greater than movement uh the whole idea of the greater than movement is to help improve 100 million people's lives in a multitude of different ways whether it's relationships or life school work or just being a positive light in people's lives this whole idea so uh, if you didn't already know, if you want to be part of the greater movement, the best way to do that is to share the content. Whether you enjoy this video or other videos, or you feel like it's a specific video that I've done, maybe even this one, will be helpful for somebody else out there. Please share with them directly, tag them in it, share the channel, whatever it is. Uh, I don't ever want to ask anybody to like and subscribe because everybody else on social media does. If you want to do that, I'm not going to ask you not to, but what I will ask you to do is to please share because I know that that means that it is directly, positively impacting somebody because obviously I don't know all your friends and family and if this video is helpful or another one's helpful for them and you share with the right person, then bingo, bongo, bango, we're in a good spot. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so hopping back into the actual video. Recently had a conversation uh, with a friend and we were talking about physical fitness and health within like pre-established romantic relationships. So marriage or committed relationships, not just like basic dating. And the conversation came up about how their significant other was gaining weight and they had gained a lot of weight over the last year and they weren't feeling 100% happy about how their partner looked. And they kind of asked me my thoughts and my opinions on it. And I will tell you exactly what I told them and kind of break it down. May not be word for word, but it'll be pretty close. And kind of just addressing how I would go about it and also how I handle it in my personal relationships. And what the advice I would give is it'd probably go the route that I go, but it also depends on you. Because obviously for some people out there, physical fitness or physical attraction isn't as big of a deal. Some people don't care about going to the gym or being physically healthy or being physically fit or eating healthy or any of those things. Like none of it's important to them. They don't care if their partner's that way. So for the people though that are in that boat who just don't really care, then this video might not be as helpful for you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying turn it off now, but like it might not be as helpful. For the people out there who do value physical attraction within the relationships and who, especially for those uh, who value physical attraction, if you're someone who really values it, you're in really good shape and da 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 da, this video will obviously apply to you too. But I think in general, most people are like, you know, I wanna be attracted to my partner or the person that I'm gonna be in a relationship with in the future. Like same thing with like when you're dating, if you don't find someone attractive, you're not gonna date them. So same thing, you're not gonna get a relationship with somebody or marry someone that you're not attracted to and sexually attracted to. So <clears throat> kind of like figuring out like how I wanna go about this, whether I wanna work backwards or forwards, but I'm just gonna kind of go with what I told my buddy. So what I said was the only thing you can really do now is really try and encourage your partner to start being physically active. I said like, you have to look at yourself first. You don't go to the gym, you don't eat that healthy. So if you want to have her change, you have to be the change that you wanna see in the world. I do love that quote. And it does apply here. So if you start going to the gym and you start eating healthier, you start losing weight and putting on like a little bit of lean muscle mass <clears throat> and you're really changing your overall lifestyle, I'd say 80% of the time, your partner's gonna probably pick it up too. Maybe not as seriously as you, maybe not as committed as you, but they're gonna see you going to the gym and they're gonna either wanna go because they're like, oh crap, like they're getting they're getting healthy, they're being more fit, I wanna do that too. Or it's gonna be like, I wanna hang out with them more, I wanna spend more time with them, they're not here for you know another hour out of the day and I want to go be with them, that's how I'm gonna go with them now. Or maybe they're kinda jealous and they're gonna be like making sure that no one's checking you out, but that's not as positive as a reason, but that could be a reason too. But the point is, there is a good chance the majority of the time that they will start partaking in your lifestyle and going to the gym or being a little bit healthier. So that directly can get you kind of the results you want to get with them being a little bit healthier, losing a little weight and just being a little more conscious. And that like directly could like solve all your problems. Now, if they're the person who 
doesn't want to do that, doesn't do that, or just somebody who is kind of doing it, but like is still just not, not changing. Uh, it's really hard. It's hard to have the conversation. It's hard to be like, hey, like, this is where it's at. And I really can't say that you should or should have the conversation because it really is, it's so hard to do. It's not a fun thing to do. Um, my recommendation is to have the conversation just very, very nicely. And by very, very nicely, I mean like literally saying to them like, hey, you know, I've noticed that, that and you start leave with yourself, that I've been really unhealthy. That's why I'm starting to try to go to the gym and eat healthier and I'm not drinking as much or whatever else you're working on within like being healthier. Um, I really want you to be able to do that too. I want you to be on this journey with me uh, and kind of say it more like that. And if they're much more hesitant, then it's kind of up to you and what you want, you want to do. I really don't want to give advice on it just because of the fact that I think it really depends on you and your partner and you guys' relationship because it really depends on how important physical fitness and physical attraction was in the beginning. Now, what I'm going to say for everybody out there who is in a committed relationship and isn't married or everybody who's not in a committed relationship and isn't married, it's a little bit hard if you are married because you're kind of stuck. Um... <laughs> My recommendation on what I would actually do and what I told my buddy to do in the future was, because he's not married, was when I get into a relationship with somebody or I'm dating, with, sorry, if I'm dating somebody and I'm getting to the point in time where I want to get into a relationship and even if I already kind of am in a relationship or I'm, I've am i gotten into one already and haven't had the conversation, I will sit them down and say like, hey, physical fitness is a really important thing in my life. Like, dead serious, like for me, I want to go to the gym, I want to be healthy, I want to eat healthy, I want to feel good, like, you know that it's important. And I will tell them, like, for me personally, I can tell you right now, like, straight up, straight down, like, if I put on X amount of weight, whatever that buffer is for you, like, I would expect you to say something and be like, oh, 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 hold up, dude, like, something's going wrong. I, and. I know that this can be kind of an awkward conversation to have, and I'm not saying have it before you're in a committed relationship, but if you're like, you know, you've been dating for a couple months or a few months, and now you're like boyfriend, girlfriend, like at some point in time, earlier on, you got to slip it in there. You just really do. And then this is the harder part is you have to say like, I feel like that goes both ways. I feel like there has to be a standard for both of us if we're going to have a successful future. I know it's like I said, it's such a weird conversation to have, but it's what I always have. Because of the fact, for me, like physical attraction is important. I want to be attracted to my partner. I want to be attracted to you. I want to be attracted to whoever I'm with. And same thing down in the future when I'm married to somebody. And I would tell them straight up, straight down, I don't think that it's fair in relationships. Because if you, if, I mean, this is the conversation I have with them. If you look, people get married, people put a bunch of weight on. They don't care about how they look for their partner. And I think it's very disrespectful. Because your partner fell in love with you how you are or were in that moment. And I'm not saying that it should be the superficial thing where it's just about how attractive you are, but when you care about yourself and you care about your partner and you want them to be attracted to you, you want to have them want to be sexually intimate with you, intimate with you. And so if I'm doing something actively that makes you not want to because of pre-established things that we had discussed before, then that's on me and I have to change my behavior. And so letting your partner, letting, like letting that person know, like, I'm going to hold you, my partner, to that same standard of like, this is where I'm at. I'm attracted to you, sexually attracted to you now. We've pre-established that this is what I want in the future. And then if it comes to that point in time, you have to be able to have that conversation again because, hey, five years from now, you guys are married and you're like, hey, we had this conversation. I told you what my expectations were and I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be rude, but this is where it's at. And really just hopefully, because you have the conversation here, it will positively impact you here, like later down the road. Uh, really what I think too, in like my humble opinion is like, if you kind of use the analogy of like, hey, if, if, if I'm dating somebody and she says, I don't date guys who smoke. And I'm like, great. I smoke cigars once in a while. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. But I don't like cigarettes. And I'm like, okay, great. I don't smoke cigarettes. And then five years down the road, I start smoking cigarettes. And she's like, yeah, I don't want to be with you anymore. Or I don't like being around you because you smoke cigarettes. And it's really bothering me. And like... I can't, I just can't deal with it. It's not my thing. I told you that was a deal breaker. Well, it's on me to stop. It's on me to quit. Like, hopefully I will get support from my wife or significant other, but it's on me because I made a choice to not follow what we had previously agreed upon was expectations within a relationship. And so therefore 
Yeah, and therefore I think that that's just something that should be like a decent analogy that makes sense where you have to then fix what you had previously agreed that was something that you weren't going to do or weren't doing and was a deal breaker for your significant other. So, and again, spice that kind of might sound kind of shallow, this might kind of sound uh, superficial. And if it does, then I guess it's kind of on you. I really don't feel like it's on me because I've kind of explained like it shouldn't be all about that. But if you're someone who cares about that or it's important to you or you don't want to end up in a relationship or marriage where either yourself lets yourself go or your partner just lets themselves go. So really figure out if it's important to you. If it is, have a conversation. Uh, like I said, I gave the advice to my buddy, so hopefully you can try and navigate with this current relationship. And if it doesn't work out, hopefully you can have that early conversation with his next significant other. But that's all I got for the video, guys. Um, if you like the video, please share it. <laughs> hopefully you did. Um, if you have questions about this topic, any relationship topic, life, school, uh, work, just positivity or you need some motivation, please reach out. Uh, whether you want to reach out to me directly at The Greater The Movement pretty much on every social media platform or if you want to drop your comment in the comment box, whatever you want to do, uh, please let me know. I said the whole idea of The Greater The Movement is help improve 100 million people's lives in a multitude of different ways. I love answering people's questions because then I know that I am directly helping someone out there by answering their question. Uh, that's what I got, guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll talk to you real soon. Remember, above all, be greater than. Bye.